It was in the early 1960s that the decision to expand the small car plant down the road was taken by the government, and this meant that somebody had to put up some houses. And it was done in Linwood by tacking on a very large housing scheme onto what had been previously a very small village community and a very happy village community, as far as I gather. When I came to Linwood, it was two years of age, and it was just after the Second World War. Linwood has changed dramatically from being a small village to a bigger, much bigger place when the car factory came. The, the Presque Isle car factory was always there, but when Roots came in the 60s, obviously Linwood became, became a much bigger place. See the big sign there, Linwood Regional Shopping Centre, that was when you come into Linwood, that was one of the first shop, big shopping centres that um, were built and that, that's down in, down in the, where the village was, I, all the new shops were built and it was a, it was a wonderful shopping centre, they had a Woolworths and a big furniture store and all different shops and it was, it was absolutely wonderful. After the car plant closed the school rolls fell a lot and uh, some of the schools were closed down and people didn't have the employment that they'd had before and in the 80s there was a lot of high, big high unemployment in Linwood. Obviously lots of the, the shops started to close down and the shopping centre became very very derelict and it was never ever maintained and the rates of the, the shops, with the people that had the shops, the rates were so sky high that people couldn't afford to be in the shops anymore so a lot of the shops uh, closed down and the centre became really derelict. Who would ever think that would have happened to that centre in Linwood coming out of that? But I think it's a lot for like well, we, we were very upset because we we had known the amount of like work that, that the Community Development Trust were trying to start building a positive down. image of Linwood when we were awarded this Carbuncle Award. However, on reflection, I've spoken to one another and sitting talking about it, we kind of thought, well, there's a wee bit of publicity here for us. We could use this to our advantage. And although the Carbuncle Award was just awarded to Linwood for the town centre. We had to realise it wasn't awarded for the whole of the Linwood town, it was just the town centre, which to be honest with you, deserved the Carbuncle Award. And we all came to that agreement eventually that, well, it's a good thing. And really, since the Carbuncle Award, we found that the politicians have sort of listened to us now and they know Tesco's listened more as well. So we felt as though we were able to pro progress a lot quicker than we probably would have done if we hadn't received it. The Linwood Community Development Trust began uh, way back, we were actually called the Linwood Focus Group and it was when we heard from the council that our local community centre was going to be demolished. Uh, the local community centre had been a hub of the community for a number of years and a lot of groups used the community centre and we were all very passionate about the community centre so we decided to set up a group called the Linwood Focus Group to fight to save the community centre but unfortunately we lost that fight and the community centre was decided they were going to demolish, go ahead and demolish anyway to make a new through road for a new 24.4 million pound sports hub in Linwood. We decided well our community centre is going to close, where, where do we go now? Uh, it was decided at that point to do a community consultation and the Linwood Community Development Trust did a, a meeting and invited the all of the local community had a fabulous turnout. People were invited to come along and tell us what they wanted to see for their town, not what the town planners or the councillors wanted. And it was fabulous. It was a very inspiring, very empowering day when we actually heard from the local community the simple things that they thought were important to them within their community. We then worked towards getting the community plan together so that we were able to put that back out to the community and say well this is what you've said this is what we're going to try and achieve for you so we feel as though we needed a community hub with us 
a football pitch attached to it. And we've continued to work alongside uh, organisations such as Oxfam, um, our local council, council and councillors, council officers. And we are at the stage now where, in principle, we have been given land to sort of fulfil our dream, really. Linwood was always a very, very good, close community. The people in Linwood are, you know, there's a really good community spirit in Linwood. And I think that's coming back. I can see that myself, that it's coming back. And um, Linwood just hopefully being, you know, becoming sort of onward and upward. <laughs>